All right, I have to stop that. I was going off about Obama, but I'm serious, y'all. This is the cleaned up version. That was fun. I was having fun six months of fun. And uh, I did that because I'm stressing out. And I do have a zone. But I was going to tell you about uh, this shirt. This shirt and your garden. Like, what has he got on? Well, I'm just uh, relaxed. And uh, you know what I don't like? And all of this ties in. What, the, what don't you like? Uh, well, I don't like people who take people's dreams. You can't take my vision. You can't take my dream. You can dampen my dream. You can hinder my dream. Or you can help me with the dream. You don't even have to accept the vision because you know why? Some people don't ever get the vision. Because vision comes from God. Man doesn't give you vision. He, give, he can give you some clarity. He can give you some direction. He can give you some instruction. He can give you some guidance. But he can't give you vision. And this shirt came from a need. You know, sometimes you're stuck in a place and you've been placed there and you ask God, well, why are these things happening? Why do these things happen? He says, don't ask me why. I want to know why you don't even want to try. Why don't you just relax? I got you. you I was just playing the other on the timeline, all in his hand. And I said, I voted. Well, I put that all in his hand, too. I had to put myself in his hands. I had to put this shirt. This shirt under here is somebody else's symbol. And I was doing it for all the wrong reasons. And I fell in love with uh, something that I'm a person that can't really enjoy it fully on a regular basis. And that's body work. And there's a lot of people who get body work, but they can't have it regularly. So you have to understand that. It is, it's, it's something that they do to really relieve tension, stress, or whatever. Sometimes even physical illness. So you have to understand that. What, what I don't like was I had to take four of these shirts. I got a spoof I'm going to put on uh, YouTube as well that talks about this vision thing. And it's really crude. I was talking to my mother. And I took a shirt that had somebody's uh, logo on it. And uh, I was serious about doing that. And sometimes God will make life, how do you say, give you that vision. When he sees a vision for you, he needs to feed it to you. The drink, I just asked my Uncle Sonny, Nate's dad, I asked him once, I said, well, Uncle Sonny, what's the difference between a dream and a vision? And he says to me, oh, well, I suppose. He sat at the kitchen table and he looked. I knew he was giving me a good answer. I know it was good because he deliberately gave me, he wanted to give me an honest, he wanted to tell his ne nephew something because I looked up to him. And he was guarding the whole school. That's right. Uh, the son boy, some about us. He says, what I, I would say, a vision is stronger than a dream. He said, I'm much stronger. That's what I would think. Because you're sleeping with your dream, right? I said, you know what? Let's go on out here and work up these potatoes. Because that's what we were doing. He had planted some potatoes. They ain't never seen nobody plant no potatoes. He did. He had vision. He had understanding, too. Unlike people who take people right on them. 